saying is this Paul? Yes, Paul? it is. How do, how do I say your last name, Paul? Uh, Hewlich. Paul Hewlich. Hewlich. The J is silent. Yeah, it's a difficult one. <laughs> oh, I got it. Hewlich. <laughs> yes. Hey, try Valder Beebe. That's really yeah. difficult. Okay. <laughs> well, they told me you're, you're live. I want to let you know you're live on the Valder Beebe show. So thank you for joining us. We're in Dallas, Texas. Well, thank you for the opportunity. No problem. You're going to talk about the stress? Tell me about stress. Who's got stress? Well, actually, all of us get stressed, and it all starts with the stress response. That's when you feel um, threatened or challenged. That's your fight-flight scenario. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that's activated even when we first wake up in the morning because uh, a lot of us Americans are on the go, and that's the problem. It's never switched off. And that's what's causing a lot of issues. And the warnings to do with stress are some of the symptoms like I had, for example, grinding of the teeth, having insomnia, a bit of a dull feeling in your tummy. And you don't want it to, to develop into something more serious like severe depression, diabetes, having feeling overwhelmed, having panic attacks, allergies. It can all end up ending up with you having one of the big four, cancer, stroke, heart disease, or a very serious mind condition. So you need to be more proactive and fortifying yourself against the stresses and challenges of life. Okay, so we know what the problem is, okay. What are some of the prescriptions for the problem? Well, understanding that we have a second brain, for example, all to do with nutrition, knowing that 95% of your serotonin receptors are right there down in your gut and your small intestine. So eating more good mood foods as opposed to what I call crap, which stands for caffeine, refined sugar, alcohol and processed foods, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to be able to fight back. So if you're into crap, you need to have an awareness of, your, of moderation. A lot of us have got a blurred boundary there. Um, another one is um, exercise. Understand that there's 7,200 nerve endings in your feet that are connected to every part of the brain and the body. So ha taking a brisk walk in the morning without interruptions, that's an aerobic walk, is going to help fortify you against the stresses and challenges of life. Um, also, stress pandemic helps guide you to take charge of your life, to be able to kick your bad habits, to be able to say no understanding that the world is a bit of a bullying place. Those are some great options, but people have been hearing this for years, Paul. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, you're not the first one to say this. How do you get people to do this stuff? Well, I feel they need to read Stress Pandemic. It is, <laughs> it is a great guide. According to the American Institute of Stress, it's a, they, they came back with a review that said it's a great guidebook well-researched and scientifically proven. So it's all about taking small practical steps, but ones that can help make a huge difference. So if you start carrying out some of these steps, you will note a difference within a week. And within a month, you'll not only feel great, but you'll look great too. And you're true. You're very true in all the things that you've said. And I want audience. I want to help people live better lives. That's what the Valder Beebe Show is. So I'm giving away a few copies of Stress Pandemic. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, click on Email Valder, and put in stress. That's all you need to put in, stress. I'll know your stress. And we're giving away a few copies, so you better hurry because I only have a few copies. Paul, thank you, and you're right. The book is very well researched. It's very well written. And I adore reading the book. A lot of the things I do and a lot of the things you reminded me to do. And they're very simple. They're not hard. That's right. You can start off by one step at a time. It's completely up to you. And this is all about you. But remember, prevention's the key. Prevention is far better than recovery. Unchecked stress has very, very serious consequences. Well, Paul, I thank you so very much for talking about Stress Pandemic. Is there any way you want to send my listening audience on the web? Well, they can go to stresspandemic.com, and there a whole world of information and support will open up to you. Thank you so much, Paul Hewledge. I really appreciate it, and Stress Pandemic is the book. 
Thank you. Thank you.